Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm sorry I've been gone for a while. Um, I actually had a death in my family. My uncle passed away and as you guys know, I'm sure some of you went through that. So you know how hard it is. You just need time to yourself. Um, I'm still grieving. It still hasn't been that easy, but I got a lot of stuff for my birthday because my birthday was last Friday. And I've been buying stuff before that. I received gifts before that also. So I wanted to at least put this video up for you guys. Um, again, like I am going through a lot right now. So if I don't put out that many videos, that's why I just, you know, spending time with my family and just trying to heal. Because we are all going through a lot right now. But I decided that, you know what, like my uncle, he didn't want us to always be sad. I decided why not put this video up so you guys can see. I'm not bragging, I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I bought for myself and I received. The first gift that I don't have physically is from my parents. They bought my ticket to go to Puerto Rico. If you guys don't know, I am Puerto Rican and West Indian. My mother is Puerto Rican, she was born there. And my father is from St. Thomas, and my father's mother is from South uh, North Carolina. So I was like, I'm all mixed. But I did go to Puerto Rico, and if you guys haven't been there, you should go. It's so beautiful. I got to meet a lot of my family members that I've never met. A lot of my abuelas, cousins, and, and uh you know, her friends and stuff like that. It was a beautiful experience. Of course, it was sad because I went there to bury my uncle, but it was, we had moments that we had a little bit of fun, and I honestly can't wait to go back. So, thank you to mom and dad for paying for my ticket because I know that was not cheap. So, that was the first gift that I received. Okay, so the second one that I received, I actually received this perfume about... A month ago in September, my father's friend's wife, I call her my aunt, she bought this for me. And this is the Daisy Dream Marc Jacobs Forever uh, perfume. This is the 1.7 and this is what the box looks like. I'm going to come in a little closer. I think I'm like a little far away from you guys. Let me just... Okay, a lot better. So this is the Daisy Dream Marc Jacobs, like I said, and oh my god, it smells so good. She bought this for me at Macy's, and this is what it looks like. I'm not really good on describing scents, but it's like florally. Um, I was going to see if there was like a description, but there's no... There's no description on the on the box, but if you guys have a chance, I would definitely go smell it. And this is what it looks like again, so you guys can go see the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream. I already started using it, hint, hint. This might be in my, I'm going to do October slash November favorites because I don't have that many favorites in October. And I have a few so far in November, so I'm just going to combine them. But anyway... This smells really good, and I'm very thankful that she got this for me. It was a surprise. I didn't even know she was going to get this for me for my birthday. So, I've been enjoying this. Okay. So, I'm going to go straight into, like, clothes and stuff, and then I have makeup stuff. But the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this pocketbook. This is the Michael Kors pocketbook. A satchel, I guess that's what they call it. It's a um, crossbody. And it's pink, and I actually got this for my job. They had this on sale for uh, $60. Normally, it's $118. And I use some of my Macy money. Employees get that, uh, Macy money. And I use $30 of it. So I only paid $30 for this bag. And this bag was normally $118. So that was awesome. And again, this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. And I used this bag when I was in Puerto Rico. And it's pink, and it has my pores, and it's really nice, and I'm so excited that I got this bag. Also, with that Marc Jacobs perfume, they give you this um, tote bag, and I didn't open it. Um, I'm probably going to use it, not now, but it just says Marc Jacobs fragrance, and it's just a black bag. So, I'm going to show that. Okay, so we're going to get into the clothes. I went to Old Navy um, beginning of October because they had like a sale for $19 um, jeans. 
And I got these, and these are the super skinny uh, mid-rise jeans. And I'm sorry they're inside out. I just washed them because I did wear them, and this is what they look like. I also have them in blue. I have no idea where I put the blue. I believe it's still downstairs in the laundry. I'm not too sure. I was trying to look for it, but I couldn't find it. But I wanted to get this video up. So this is what they look like, the black, you know, regular black jeans, and I really do like the Old Navy jeans. They're really comfortable, and they're one of my favorites. Okay. I also got this shirt. Um, I got this shirt at Macy's, not at the Macy's I work at, at another Macy's I used to work at, and this is what it looks like. It's by the brand INC, and it's for me. They call it Macy Woman, which is plus size. This is a 2X. It fits me a little bit big, but I'm glad that I got it. It's so pretty. I also wore this in Puerto Rico. And again, this is what it looks like. I only paid $6 for this when normally it's like $30. I mean, it bugs me when people say that Macy's is so expensive. Like, you have to look. You look and you will find the deals. You have to have patience to go and look. Trust me, you'll find some stuff. Keep watching this haul and I'll show you some stuff that I bought from Macy's. So cheap. Anyway, this was only $6. And it's very lightweight and it's really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to show you something else that I bought from Old Navy. I bought this shirt. This was only like $2 and I thought it was cute. And it says, um, up to no good. You can't really see it, but I like shirts like this. Just sit, like, you know, wear around the house. Like, they're comfortable. Comfortable tank. When I start to work out, this will be great to wear, wear uh, too. Because, you guys, I ate so much at freaking Puerto Rico. It was even funny. Like, the food out there, if you guys look love Spanish food, you have to go to Puerto Rico. Like, the way they cook and stuff oh, is so much better than New York. It was so good. <laughs> okay, and the last thing I got for my job, okay, was this Michael Kors shirt. I only paid $10 for this. And it's orange, and it has like a peplum. I haven't worn it yet, but I will soon. Um, it's a peplum shirt I bought myself. And if you guys can see, this is normally $59.50, and I only paid $9. I found this in the clearance, and it fits me really well. I'm so excited that I got it. And again, this is Michael Kors, and yeah, that was a really good deal for Michael Kors. Okay, so the next store that I ordered from was Lane Bryant. Before I knew about my uncle passing away, um, I had bought an outfit because I was going to go out for my birthday. But instead, I'm doing it this weekend. But anyway, I bought an outfit, and this is the outfit that I bought. And I also bought boots. Oh, there goes the boots. Sorry about that. But I also bought boots. And this is a dress that I bought from Lane Bryant. I love it. It's like a red cheetah dress. And do you guys see, like, the front? And it's a three-quarter sleeve, and this is the back, and it's so nice. I hope that it's kind of cold, because this is like a, a little bit of a thicker material. So hopefully if it's cold this Saturday, when I see my hubby, I'm going to wear it. And this is what it looks like, too. Um, on the tag, it says $89, but I think I paid like $40. I always get stuff on sale on Lane Bryant. Um, you look up a coupon and retail me not, you can usually get like a really good deal. And again, this is what it looks like. Okay, so let me show you the boots that unfortunately fell, but I'll show you one of them. These are the boots. I'm so excited. I never owned a pair of boots like this. And what I like about Lane Bryant is that they have wide calf. Calf. I think that's how you say it. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. But they have those boots, which I need, and these boots looked so comfortable. Now, I have to be honest, they do have a heel. I haven't been outside with them yet because, again, I went to Puerto Rico. But I do plan on wearing them soon because I don't want to wear them when we have, like, snow and stuff. Like, I want to wear them before that, you know. Because with these heels, I'll be, like, slipping and sliding, so... <laughs> So this is what it looks like. It's so nice. It's like a suave, a suave, a suave um, material. 
Um, so yeah, these are the boots. And these are $89, but I didn't pay that. I think I paid like 60 something dollars, so I got about $20 off of the coupon that I used. So, that was great. And that's the stuff I bought from Lane Bryant. Okay, so yesterday I hung out with my bestie and she gave me a really beautiful card. My bestie's name is Michelle. She's on YouTube, so if you guys haven't subscribed, go subscribe to her. It's Mimi, uh, it's Mimi Desi, and I'm sorry about the phone ringing in the background. But she got me a Bath and Body Works gift card and I got some stuff yesterday. So I wanted to show you guys. These are probably still in the store, and they're all, they were all 50% off. I only paid $26 for everything in this bag. The first thing I got was a Sweet Clementine Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. She actually showed me this because I like the scents of oranges and stuff like that. And when I smelled this, I was like, oh my god, I need it. And this was it. And it was normally $6.50, but I only paid $3.25. That's that one. I also got another hand soap. I got the Sonoma Sunflower Blossom Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. And this is what it looks like. And again, it smells really good. And this was also 50% off. And then I got a Sonoma Weekend Escape 24 Hour Moisture Ultra she Shea Body Cream. And this was $6.50 when normally it's $13. This smells so good, you guys. And I like to have um, body creams because I do have eczema in the wintertime. And my legs are really dry. And this helps. Like, it really helps. So if anyone has eczema or you get, like, itchy legs or anything in the wintertime because it's so cold, I would recommend one of these body creams. They're really good. Okay, and the last thing I got, which is all wrapped up, was the Napa Valley Sunset Candle. Oh, it smells so good. And this is what it looks like. It's just three wick. It smells really, really good. And it's saying, Napa Valley Vine Yards are the most romantic at sunset. Notes of velvety fig soft oak moss and luminous white musk recapture this gold hour it smells so good and this was only 50 percent off and i know that you guys know how expensive these candles could be so i got that and those are the things i got from bath and body works yesterday thanks to my bestie and they also throw in a coupon 10 off of 30 which i thought was nice so that was that um Okay, sorry, I'm still not done. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. Um, I got some money from my cousin Joey, which, thank you, Joey. And I also got some money from my uncle um, Jamie, so thank you, Uncle Jamie. They also got me a really nice cake when we was in Puerto Rico. So I took some of the money and I went shopping in Puerto Rico. So this is a brand that's from Puerto Rico. It is not from the United States. And it's, this is what it's called, Morani, Morini, I can't pronounce it, but this is what it's called. So I got a chance to walk around the mall a little bit when we had time. So this is the first shirt that I got. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I only paid $10 for it, and I love it. It has like the lace, and in the bottom, it's like super flowy, if you guys can see it. And this is in a size 2X. I got it a little bit bigger. Normally, I'm a 1X. But I got a 2X because I didn't want to get it too small. Because it is in Puerto Rico and there's no way that I'm going back to change it. And this is another shirt that I got. And it's a nice blue also. And I paid $14.99. And I like it because it has like that asymmetrical front. And this is what it looks like in the back. It's super pretty. Okay. And then I, we were planning on going to the beach, but it started raining and stuff, so we couldn't go. So I just got like a plain t-shirt, um, but it was comfortable too. This was only $6.99. And then I got this jacket at my job. As I got, as I told you guys, I have to wear black. This was only $5. It's like an open cardigan almost, and it has like the lace, if you guys can see. It's like the lace. It's really pretty. So I got that. 
Sorry about my dog barking in the background. And then I went to this other store. The store is called Faya. And I actually got my best friend some earrings from there that I gave her yesterday, so I don't have it. They had like these little wallet things for $2. Everything in there was pretty cheap, but um, this was what caught my eye. It was kind of cool. You could put like your credit cards in there. So I got that. And then I got these earrings for a dollar. Little earrings. Like, I thought they were cute. So that's what I got. Um, yeah, that's everything that I got from Puerto Rico. I also got my hubby some shirts. But of course I'm not going to show it here. Because he watches my channel. Hi babe. <laughs> but he'll be seeing it on um, Saturday. I didn't receive a gift from my husband yet. Because I haven't seen him since I just got back from Puerto Rico on Monday. So whatever gift that he gets me, I'm probably going to include it between uh, the October, November favorites. I'll include it in there. Okay, so these are the last two things I got myself. Um, this was before I found out about going to Puerto Rico. I knew that this collection was coming out and I wanted to get just one thing from this collection, which I'm sure everybody wanted. Some people got lucky to get it. Some people unfortunately didn't get it. But I saw this on Trend Mood. I follow her on Instagram. And once I saw it, I was like, I need it. Matt came out with their collection, Magic of the Night. And this highlighter was going to be available. So what I did was I asked my little brother, like, do you mind driving me to the mall? Like, I really want this highlighter. And I felt like it was going to sell out because, as you guys know, MAC collections, they sell out so freaking fast. It's like, you have to be on it. And it was already sold out online, so I knew that they had to have it in the store. So I went to Macy's, and my brother got me that, uh, brought me to get this, and I'm so excited I got it. I got the highlighter, all oh, darling. Oh my god, this highlighter is so beautiful. They say that this is a dupe for Whispered of Guilt, which I don't have, which I wanted to get, but I don't have it. But you guys, like, it's so pretty. Oh, do you guys see that? I am such a highlighter junkie. I have so many highlighters now, and there's so many that I want more. It's crazy. But this is what it looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited that I got this highlighter. And I'm going to swatch it for you guys. This is what it looks like swatched, if you guys can see. It's so pretty, like speechless no words needed beautiful I'm so excited that I got this and when I went to Macy's we went when the store just opened because I was like I really want this highlighter so I got it and I only got one other thing I do plan on getting the brush set um but I only wanted to get these two things before they sold out this is the MAC uh, the MAC Matte Lipstick, and this is in the color Evening Rendezvous, and this is what it looks like. I really like the packaging. And this is what the packaging looks like. And this is the color. And I'm going to swatch it next to the highlighter so you guys can see. I love purples, and this is such a pretty purple it's like between a fuchsia and a purple it's so beautiful and that's just what that's what it looks like and I'm so excited that I got those two by the way those two together were $51 but because I'm a Macy's employee I had those coupons like I've been telling you guys over and over again which I apologize if it becomes redundant but hey I'm gonna use them so for these two items, I only paid $26. I saved $25, which was awesome because normally it would be 50 something and I didn't pay that. So that was great. And I'm just so excited that I got this. And I can't wait to use them. I haven't used it yet because I wanted to include it in this haul. But um, yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to use them. So yeah, basically that's my haul. You know, I appreciate all the gifts that I got from my friends and family. I appreciate the cake that they got me, bringing me to Puerto Rico. I've always wanted to go there. I never went there before. Now I can say that I went there. It was a great flight going. It was an awesome flight coming back. 
I'm afraid of heights, so I was a little scared, but being with my family, it made me feel really comfortable. I just want to end my video on this note. If you guys have someone in your life that you're not talking to or you can't get along with them, please try. Because life is way too short. You never know when someone's going to leave you. You never know when you're going to have your last conversation with someone. You never know when's the last time you're going to see them. It's like life, it's not worth arguing with someone over something stupid or petty. Just let it go. Whether it's like your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your cousin. Try to have a relationship with them. Because honestly, you never know when that person's going to leave you. I was very close to my uncle. I love my uncle very much. We spoke all the time. He was a really big part of my life, my cousin's life, you know. And it's been really hard. But at least I can sit here and say that I was the best niece I could to him, could be to him. And I know that he loved me. And I know he's in heaven with my Wella and... Yeah, I just wanted to say that, you know, just try to make it work with your family. You know, nothing is, nothing, there's no way that you can't try. As long as you try. If that other person is pushing you away, that's fine. But at least you can walk away saying that you tried to make it work with that person. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. I'm going to try to put out as many videos as I can. But again, I am taking a little bit of time away from YouTube. I hope you guys can understand. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.